Well, blow me down. Ah, sent Friday, January 16th, 2015. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal and so you still think she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mama did a still under, still totally under though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Then... Wow, big time jump, like months later. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evelina land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would be get mad since Mia's her favourite and all, but she doesn't seem doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visit her sometimes. She thinks me as her mummy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Wow. He really doesn't like keeping things organised close together. Following year. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more arseholes off the street. Add to a freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around. But it's a pain in the ass for me because i got to clean up the mess whatever someone new comes along. By the way, Evelyn's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is this supposed to happen? Is it so, it's like she's getting old all of a sudden? Dom, dom, dom. Uh-huh. Well. This is looking interesting. Uh huh. Uh, nothing. Oh, we can just. Ah, oh, there we are. Report detailed symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside E series infects a human. Be sure to read the document, uh, document thoroughly before dealing with E series weaponized assets, referred to as mold. Initial infection the mold ingests nutrients from the subject spoiled a body to propagate itself and slowly take over the cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they are able to cope with the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. Subject starts to hear things, experience hallucinations, and soon comes under complete control of the E-series uh, asset. This state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form physically. Mutations differ from case to case, but result in him or her acquiring incredible strength. Incredible physical strength containing their subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Uh huh. Five minutes after dice. E series dose its test. Ten minutes. Twelve minutes. And what are you? E. Neurotoxin. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E series bio weapon model. Use only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing sample. Okay, we've got one of those. Here. Yeah. Hey, what's my arm doing way over there? Air neurotoxin. Ha! 
Uh, this project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts of the company's Next Brass, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority uh, Initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Nexabus was later folded and all its assets diverted to the project. What makes this project remarkably different from the conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had beep and even beep beep organization chomping at a bit to get on board. The project would never have existed if it wasn't for the discovery of beep of beep. This remarkable progression variant evolution fungus that we commonly term as muticide. Fabrication. The fabrication method for each bar weapon was to induce the muticide genome to pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform Cervication in controlled environment over the period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resulting organism is referred to as candidate specimens and graded upon usability from impact to faulty. Series A through D to the perfected E series. The common appearance was selected for the bar weapon is that of roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending into urban refugee populations. The first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, was produced capable of secreting the metazide B from her tissue at well. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutacide imposes a profound control over the body and the mind when introduced to the host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but working theory is that the vector is similar to that of a Auto-inductor pheromones used for quarry and sensing in pseudonymous bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, nor even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Uh... <sighs> Auditions, auditions with the infected subjects throughout the stages of the infected reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock which induces helps break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the muticide infection has progressed through the body's cells, so the body is beep. I think that last word was going to be fucked. Yeah. Uh, any more for whilst I'm in a yep, there is. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms by mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organisms is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed from countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously. Uh, slightest provocation, their fungal toughness and remarkable strength gave them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold, and also molded in as in shape. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing peep on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to class calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the symptoms of uh, serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to beep would enhance the effects to extreme potency. 
becoming a compound we call e-neurotoxin, which is beep even in tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is obsession with the concept of family. In her in experiments, we found multiple occasions that the infected subjects were complied to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she is really their daughter. Why would she settle upon family as the theme for a mental control? This is just speculation, but it would be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending in among social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a supplemental uh, supplement so my suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love and quarantine home upbringing. She wants a parent's love. Hey, we have a save room just up ahead. Sweet. Uh, oh yeah, I can't carry no more. Okay, mag ammo, machine gun ammo, handgun. Uh, you can go in, you can go in, you can go get sorted. I am going to pop a save. Yeah, we should be able to pick flame rounds. Okay, I get the hint. Flame rounds, huh? Uh, you can go there. So if we're wanting flame rounds... Can we make them with solid fuel and strong cam? Okay. Uh, strong. Solid fuel. Bingo. Right, we have three. Uh, let's move you like that. Uh, supplements. Have I got a lot of supplements? I have. Okay, let's make... Wow, that made six. Awesome. Alright, let's make a new save. As I get the headset comfortable again. Yeah, everything's good. And we apparently have a door here. Ooh. Enhanced. Sweet. Flame. Enhanced. Uh, let's switch you out. I'm guessing we can't go this way. Jesus, mag ammo, seriously. Okay. Uh, huh. I don't like how large and open this is. Especially at the hinting of this thing. I'm guessing it involves going down that hole. Well, we have stuff to be able to make another healing potion. Okay, going deeper underground, I suppose. I 
I can hear shit. I definitely don't like this. Seriously, more of that ammo. <clears throat> getting louder. And then it goes quiet. Oh, that was blinding. I hear lots of movement, lots of squelchy sounds. Okay. Um. Change over to that. Okay, so the grenade thing didn't help out as much as I hoped. Uh, we've got to work our way up, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Start humming again. Okay. Where's the next round of fiends? Okay, that more worked as intended. I can hear more squelching. tight situation I'm guessing this is probably going to be better nothing behind Whatever this is, it's a dead end. Another remote grenade. Oh, I don't trust either of them. Okay. We have some of that and burn a fuel. Okay, so we can make a healy thing. Huh? 
Oh, look at you there. Okay. That's about all she wrote. Oh, that's bad. Uh, what we want to do... Place you with that. Getting closer. Um, probably best switch over to these. Okay. Can't go any further up that way. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, crap. This is not good for me. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Come on. Run, reload. Okay. Oh, best get away from that. Uh, what did I pick up? Huh. And I also do not trust that box. Strong healing, which I will not knock at this point. Um, what did this box give us? Machine gun ammo. 